all right so i had two packages come in the mail for the e-bike and you guys have seen it before there is a small issue with it and when i give it full power to the motor it starts to do a thumping so i got a brand new controller in the mail and with it i also got a lcd display which is also gonna look really nice i think and I also got a tube because my tire is flat. It has a hole somewhere. So we're gonna be doing all of that and hopefully we'll get the bike running again, working just fine. And um, let's get started. All right, I got the panels off on both of the sides and I'm gonna be um, untying the controller and getting it out, rewiring everything and putting the new one on. Also going to take this light off because I'm gonna be putting the display there. All right, I got it out of here. So I'm unscrewing all of the phase wires right now, getting all the connectors off. So I can probably uh, get that thing test fitted in there and start wiring things up. So I got the old controller out. And to remove the wheel to get the tube replaced, I have to uh, cut all these zip ties. So I'm gonna be doing that. So I got all of the zip ties off. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the wheel and I'm probably gonna have to take the chain off. So I'm gonna do all that and I'm gonna get back to you guys. So I took the wheel out, it's right there. I was prying it for maybe 30 minutes trying to get that tube out, but I finally got it out. Um, I'm gonna get that new tube. Where is it? It's right there. I'm gonna get this uh, installed and hopefully back onto the bike. Um, so let's do that. Finally got that wheel back on with the tube. Hopefully it will not go flat. Um, but here's the new controller. I'm gonna feed the wires back through and um, start connecting stuff up. I got the display mounted also right here um, with the controls. So this is really nice. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, I'll um, start wiring things up. All right. Okay, so I think I got everything wired up here. I'm watching some videos on how to do the hull test and I'm gonna do some tuning real quick and hopefully I'll be able to get it all together and go on a ride before it gets dark. Well, it's the next day. <laughs> um, I was able to get it all together. Um, obviously it got dark and I wasn't able to film. And I have some good news and some bad news. Well, the tire is holding up, <laughs> that's good. Um, I have the controller mounted in there. It was a bit tricky to mount since it's wider than the other one that I had uh, you can see that it's working I have this beautiful display now sadly the motor issue wasn't able to be fixed um, still have it when I go up into those high rpms it just starts to have that thumping but I'm still able to ride it I'm gonna go on a little ride um, show you guys around it has more power with this new controller it's able to get a higher top end Put on some older brake pads onto the front and these squeak so bad. Um you can need to get I wanna get ceramic pads and get a whole like brake bleed going. Uh, that'll be in a different video. So I can stay in mode three. There's multiple modes, but if I stay in mode three, it's fine. If I go over mode three, it starts to have that terrible motor issue. Still wheelies. It's so nice that I have my miles now being counted and I can see my wattage, the clock. It's just so nice. For that, I think it was worth it, but it really sucks that that motor issue still continues. <laughs> oh. 
all right well that's gonna be it for this video um if you guys have any suggestions on what i should do next uh, maybe take it apart look into it maybe there's a loose wire somewhere or something um so let me know in the comments below and uh that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one and stay tuned